Hey Floss Tube, it's Kerry in Stitches. It's Thursday the 10th of May. And this is video number 18. I nearly said 19 then, I'm getting ahead of myself. I hope you're all well. Um, I hope you've had some good weather. We've had some pretty nice weather in the UK this last week or so. Um, hottest bank, early May bank holiday on record, or since records began. Oh, that was only 40 years ago. So, but you know, not complaining. And I mean, it was warm. Um, it reached 26, 27 here, um, and so that's what, top high 70s. So we did a bit of gardening and went for um, a walk in a local woods to see all the bluebells. So you may have seen some of the pictures on Instagram if you follow me there. Um, I'm Kerry underscore in underscore stitches on Instagram. Uh, so come over and follow me there too if you're on Instagram. That's a lot of Instagram in one sentence. Um, glancing down at my list. So, so I should move my list more to me so I don't keep looking down to the side. Um, it's been a manic fortnight since I last saw you. Um, both my children celebrated birthdays. They had a fantastic time. Uh, they, My eldest turned 13 and he went go-karting with four friends. Um, he was super happy because he got upgraded to an adult cart because he's too big for the junior carts now and two of his friends were still in junior carts. Um, two of his friends have already been upgraded because they're tall. Um, so he was super happy to get upgraded to a big cart um, and now he can really challenge his dad. Um, so that was really, he loved that. Um, and then they all came back here and uh, had a raclette. Um, Teenage boys, not such a good, great in theory, not when they were just left to their own devices going, let's see if we can burn this. And that's almost a direct quote, but they, they were, they're, they're, they're nice boys, so we, they, they had a really good time. Um, on, so he did that the night before his birthday, and then we just kind of celebrated, we potted, I have no idea what we did. There you go. Oh, he went to town and met a friend, um, went off into town on his own and met a friend and we just potted around getting a few odds and ends that we needed to pick up for my youngest birthday party on the Sunday. Um, she had a jewellery party um, with our lovely jewellery lady that we go to or um, to do workshops and she's been to us twice now, so that's three three birthday parties we've had, uh, three parties that we've done, lots had two and I did a mum's night which was really good fun too. Um, so I made this lovely, lovely bracelet. Um, is that gonna focus? Yeah, a little bit focusy. So I did steal the idea from my sister-in-law who drove 220 miles for the um, just to visit overnight, which was wonderful. Um, so my daughter is, is an eight-year-old. She's obsessed with unicorns. So we had a unicorn charm on the end of it, one end, and then I, I love my giraffes, so I've got a little giraffe charm on the other. So I made that. They they made bookmarks, hair band, um, like sort of tiara, Alice bands more than sort of uppy tiaras like I've been making. Um, they did bookmarks and bracelets, and I forget what else they did. Some memory wire bracelets too. So they had a really good time, and they did party games, and yeah, some of the mums, a couple of the mums came and stayed as well. So it was really good fun exhausting and they ate party food and we ate lots of cake and as my daughter says I'm not a party without party rings um which are like an iced biscuit for those of you who don't know what they are but they are the best biscuit in the world Jaffa Cakes come as a close second but they are the best biscuit in the world maybe shortbread too yeah random biscuits there um so that was just a crazy 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 weekend so I haven't didn't stitch for five days because if I wasn't knee deep in party planning stuff i was in bed because i was tired it was exhausting i must say or clearing up after lots of partying and things like that so but you only do it once it, well we only do it once a year because they're only a day apart so it's just a crazy crazy weekend i write everything else off and go with it and it was brilliant so um yeah good Good weekend. I have, I saw my college assessor and things are going well. I've got um, lots of lots of work to do because I'm kind of um, 
yeah, in my final six months of my qualification now. So I need to get everything finished off and get really just keep up with um, what I'm doing. I finally got a picture on the wall, which is my one of my black quilt bots. It's um, it's hung up with command hooks. It's been up for three days. I'm hoping it's stopping up. So fingers crossed on that one. Um, finally, something a little bit interesting in the background. But I do love that piece. It's my favourite, one of my favourite ever stitches. And I've, I showed it in one of my earlier videos. Right, what else has been happening? Mania. We've hit mania. Um, I'm doing a base, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a scale back mania for me. I'm doing Main Street Mania, as I told you last time. So it's the co 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 Country Cottage Needleworks um, collection for Main Street. And um, I'm changing it to be a bit girl more girlsified because I love girl more girls and I kind of went I could t little tweaks here and there so it was all I'm doing I had no major changes to the um to the design much at all the buildings are staying as they are um I'm just maybe swapping some of them so like the bait dress shop is going to become Luke's diner and things like that so it's going well I I have a plan for it and everything oh, that's the full design there I cannot see if you can see that, but I hope you can. So I can. I've got a. I've got a good idea. I've written. I'm going to be doing a little bit of charting myself. So I. Is that my own place? Just fold that over because I don't want to put my work. So I have. I have a plan. Um. I've only one I've left to sort out is the bakery is going to become the video store, and I need to do quite a lot of charting for that. Um. But I have ideas. So I've been sort of sketching out some of the signs ready to chart properly. And I guess you want to see my progress. That's a random stray thread. So it's on the call for linen, which is Witch Out Star Sapphire 32 count. And that's what we've got. So I have finished the flower shop and the only change I did there was made it... Uh, yellow flowers for I love you a thousand days it yellow daisies um obviously not a thousand there but I did I, I changed as many as I could um I did add in one extra color from the charted threads I'm trying to stick with the charted threads as much as possible um just to keep the continuity of the design I decided not to go with the Vonna border but I may kind of use the Vonna border idea above the gazebo and rather than just having this kind of um, leaf and stem border across the top I might break it in the middle and then just put in a stars hollow or something along those lines. The buildings are not where they are in the in the program because that's just not possible um, without massive changes and rearranging the order and I wanted to keep I wanted to keep it Main Street with a nod to Gilmore Girls, so that's my kind of plan. So, yeah, there we go. That's what I've been up to. So I finished, I did that Monday to, uh, sorry, the Tuesday to Monday. So it took me a week to do that. A couple of days I didn't really stitch much because of one thing and another. And that's been my progress the last two nights. Not a lot, but hopefully I have to wait in today for my, washing, my new washing machine because my washing machine decided that uh, water was best on the floor, not in the washing machine last week. So I'm having a new one delivered today. And as anybody who's ever waited in for an appliance knows, you wait till they give you a window and you wait. So I've dashed into town this morning. Actually, I did really well. I was there and back in 30 minutes. So um, I only had to return a pair of trainers for my son, who's going to France and Belgium tomorrow for uh, a few days with the school. And the trainers I bought him didn't fit, so I've had to go and sort that out this morning. Boys. Um, yeah. Random segue. Out of, out of Main Street into family stuff and back into, back into Main Street again. Oh, the Minder is just one of my friendly plastic ones I made. I, I actually really like that. And it's nice and they're really light because it's just a thin piece of plastic, essentially. So... Looks nice, but it's nice and light because I'm stitching it all in hand. So that's Main Street. Um, I might as well do my plans. So I've kind of given myself a week on each. 
so that I'm stitching that one till the weekend and over the weekend I'm just going to get my um, May ATC out and the theme is cats or something cat related anyway so I picked my pattern for that so I need to stitch that and make it up and I also need to start my um, Biscornu for the Great Biscornu swap um, hosted by Jen Upton um, so that's go. Uh, th so I need to get that started. I've got my pattern picked for that. So it doesn't look like much. I'm not showing the pattern because it's a secret swap. But that is the fabric, the threads. Which look, they kind of look a bit odd. But it's one of those things that when they're together, it really works. But they just kind of look a bit odd. Kitted up. Um, Main Street. Next one is. So I'm working on. That's the. I'm working on the bookstore, which is going to become Dosis Market. And then I've got the gazebo to do. And that should take me to... Oh, and then if all goes well, I may even get a start on the coffee shop, which is going to become um, the soda shop. So not many changes to that one. Uh, quite a few changes to the bookstore and all I'm doing for the gazebo is charting in the star hollow sign and then keeping it losing a plant charted starts charting in the star hollow sign so there's that for that um let's move that over there too because I didn't put that away my table's quite empty today there's not a lot going on no t no FFOs because well, that's coming in a minute um the only finish was what I've just showed you. Nice weather. So we'll have strawberries in the morning today. Um, we also have the Royal Wedding coming up. So we're selling that. Um, lots and lots of people are doing different things. I know myself and Dawn and Michelle, Dawn Frosty Exich and Michelle Bendy are doing the Stone Street Stitchworks uh, free pattern which is wonderful I love this that so that's what I used for the little beaded fobs I for the crowns I did I'm not I and I'm using the same fabric as I did kind of just to tie it all in together and I'm thinking I might bead the crowns myself as well for the design um that's the only called for color which is 680 I'm gonna go with um I'm thinking I might do the border in E crew thinking maybe or it will be the gold is charted and obviously that's the navy which isn't the which is uh 803 rather than 823. So the one the other charted colour was a grey and I thought that the given the fabric that looked better. I've also pulled some gold, just some Madeira gold out, which I might use too. So we've got options. The other option was I, I was I was talking to Dawn about was to maybe bead the initials rather than the crowns, and then just do the crowns. And I don't know. I think it's going to be one of those things that's just going to evolve. So my other project for that day, which is the one I've been saving for it is these two flags i've been wanting these were free from cross stitcher in 2016 i've been wanting to do these for such a long time sorry i just heard a big lorry and i thought that better not be my washing machine because it's two hours early so yeah i'm doing that I've, i made a start there and i've worked it out so that I changed the Ada to a slightly bigger piece and should be able to stitch both of them on and I have a little stick that came with the kit, the little bamboo pole and then I will, rather than blanking, blanking, blanket stitching as it is, I will, ooh, there we go, I'm going to just blanket stitch it together. So that be the plan. And um, French knots on the crown. They're becoming beads because I don't do French knots. And I forget who designed this. 
I'm going to say it was another, I think it's Jan Constantine again. I've got the magazine here, so let's have a quick look. Um, this one we went very British because we were doing, because it was the Queen's, I'm going to go Jubilee. Oh no, it's just designed by Susan Penny. So, but it, it does remind me a lot of uh, the, um, of the felt heart that I did. Felt crown heart shaped thing, which was Joan Constantine. I remember that. Anywho, so that's, oh, needle minder. This is just a charm made by me. Clever old me. So that's the plan for that. So you've got, you've got my current whip, my FFO. So I'm kind of, I'm doing Main Street Monogamous Mania because, you know, except for the other new starts that I'm going to have other things that I need to get done, but we won't count those. Okay. I'm going to throw this in now just in case. My, my final mania plan is one of my my now oldest whip from last year, I think it's my oldest whip from last year, is My Lady's Garden by Stitches and On. And I haven't done any on that, well, barely done any on that. So I started that on the 30, 31st of May last year, so I plan to stitch it on that day too. Hopefully if I get some momentum, momentum I can't even speak today, on it, then I might get a few days in and at least knock the border out. Because I think once the border's done, it's just the six flowers which should be a lot more kind of feel like finish it little mini finishes because it was a sal so yeah right as that's that you want to see my teeny tiny pile of haul teeny teeny tiny kids birthdays i've bought nothing my stitch from stash 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 was 38 pence um for april 38 pence that was the buttons i bought which I won on eBay, in an eBay lot for, which you saw last time, for the um, Hollyberry Sampler. 38 pence. And I made 30 quid's worth of credits too. Ooh. And that didn't include the birth sampler. My friend has had her baby. I know its name. I know the weight. I know the date. And I haven't done anything about it. And I really need to get it done. So That is, and I put that, I bought the frame for that actually. It's a what nice a white frame we just come I'm not going to get it it's a nice white frame um I will take plenty of pictures and insert them before um I give it to her and I'm just looking to see whether it's actually made it on to oh yeah so, I'm, so it's on my 31 to FFO list along with my sewing up my um Sewing up the Biscornu and making up my ATC. One, two, yeah. Right, actually, Hall can wait. I'm going to talk my other mania thing, which is um, my FFO mania. I've got, th um, with the three that I've just mentioned, which, which will be done this month, I have 31 things that need to be framed. And 31 things that need to be framed kind of felt a bit mania-ish to me. So, this was my mania plan with my starts and my and my um, like cells and stuff, and my thirty-one things. I don't expect you to read it, but I made a plan. I like making plans. That's kind of my thing. I'm, I am a planner by nature. I love a good list. I live by lists. I haven't written one for today, and I kind of feel I need to because I'm packing Tom for his school trip and although he has a packing list from school but I kind of feel I need to add in other things to do on that list today I think that'll be my next job a list um anywho random here is a little video of the 28 things that need framing and um I've probably missed lots of information out about them, but I've said basically how I intend to finish it and what some of them I've sort of said mentioned about the designer and things like that. Some of them I haven't, but as I get them done, uh, hopefully I can, I will make sure as I show you them next, when, they, when they're done, I will make sure I tell you more information. 
I would say yeah probably yeah a good three quarters that you've you've seen I've already told you about them in pre in earlier videos and everything so um yeah here's the video if it all goes to plan so I will see you back again in five minutes all right so here again is my, is my list um 31 uh, FFOs for 31 days of mania we have got a sideways robin and robin that will go in this felt frame it just needs sticking together um this little bear again little christmas ornament just needs the backing done this will be whip stitched this needs um, a square border putting around and whip stitching together like the other drawn thread ornaments um merry christmas i kind of bodged the framing attempt so i need to salvage that somehow but i'm sure it'll all come good that's um that was a cover kit from one of the magazines and it's a design by emma congdon oh it's not sorry about the camera work um an old anchor kit of pluto i've got the little coaster i'm going to put pop that into for my daughter uh, a geisha this is a cover kit from cross stitcher at least 10 years ago um and i'm thinking possibly a flat fold or a little pillow it's got beads on that one this little dragon was stitched for a thing tastic thing thing tastic last year um, my plan is it's only about an inch square is to make it into a needle minder oh, two inches square little heart going into a key ring um, my plan again this just needs blanket stitch around the outside and stuffing uh, this is a cover kit from cross stitcher and it's by Jan Constantine uh, the book uh, Japanese garden bookmark by anchor that just needs some backing putting on it nice neat back there I'm quite proud of that um, pillow finish for first snow by the drawn thread again just a little pillow finish I think for this one uh, this was a free Lizzie Kate then go into we go into my hoops um, I bought this hoop 12 months ago with the intention of for this design so thank you to a couple of people who pointed me in the direction of really good tutorials one was um, a blog tutorial and the other was um, tiny modernists um, YouTube tutorial and they were really good they both said the same thing so um, hopefully I'm going to start knocking some of these out and getting these done a little tiny ABC that I did um, stitched over one uh, from a free design on Pinterest that I did check was free um, so that's probably going to stay in this one probably should have put all these around the right way uh, tiny Christmas this is going to stay in this hoop I was quite pleased to find a hoop that actually fitted the design so this just needs backing as well um, hot fuzz again just needs a bit of straightening off and backing as does Gilmore Girls And then we've got Bent Creek's um, Hollyberry Sampler. That's going, just needs the buttons um, along here. It's got seven red buttons to go on it. And then that's going to be a flat fold. I'm hoping for a canvas finish or a black frame on the giraffes. Tea and cakes. I have a frame four, which is um, this turquoisey blue one here um, canvas for Celtic Cross again so I need to buy canvases for the two smaller ones um, and we've got again canvas for Hydrangea this was from Cross Stitcher about 10 years ago and it's by Sheila Hudson irises again a design by Sheila Hudson from Cross Stitcher at least 10 years ago possibly longer I love this piece and then we have black work bird song that's going on the square canvas uh, that's a DMC kit um, love is best when you give it away uh, Lizzie Kate and that's going in this kind of ornate frame here just about I'm going to squeeze it in 
I'm hoping to make a wall hanging from the calendar, but that will depend largely on my whether my sewing machine is cooperating. It's not been out the garage in 18 months, so we'll see. I hope it hasn't seized up. And then last but not least, I'm going to go um, charity shop shopping for a frame for um, the Anchor Traditional Sampler. So that's my 31 finishes. Let's see how many I get done in the next video. Right, okay. So that's the FFO Mania, Mania plan. Um, finger... But that, but that, I can't speak. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find a frame for the big sampler. My sewing machine will work so I can do. I've got plenty of fabric, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I will be able to find something to finish off the uh, Palco calendar. Um, yeah, that's and I will just do it as a wall hanging with dowel rods and things like that. So let's see how we get on with that. There's a lot of ironing to do there, though, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, nothing ever gets ironed in this house. Right. So that's my FFO plan and and I really must move on because I will repeat myself and tell you all what I've already told you in that five minute video that I made earlier. Right. I bought this. It's less drama, more llama. It's actually, it's not, and I think this wasn't even, I didn't even have to do a stitch from slash for this because this is going to be my quilting project. So... I'll show my quilt in a minute, but this is going to be my, my, my quilting travel bag. Uh, I want a chart from Cat Crazy Creations, uh, Sonia. Just a little calendar chart. I really like that flower in the middle. So I don't. I would stitch it on blue. I wouldn't do all that background because it's a fully it's a full coverage piece. So I got that. That was the free chart with Cross Stitch Crazy this month. Um, I will be stitching this because I remember buying the rainbow fish picture and I have one in my bathroom and I've had it well since I lived at home which is yeah well I reckon 25th 25 years so I, I've had it at least 20 so but it's very faded now it's not very rainbowish it's very muted right new cross stitch crazy came so that's what the cover kit was from Let's do a very quick flick through. Flick through. Oh, so we've got seaside theme cards, the phoenix. I'll flick to that in a minute, and then we've got an alphabet oh, and a big camper van by Julia Rigby. Um, and lots of sort of smalls, teacup pin cushions. My friend Lauren made it as one of the readers. So there's the camper van. That's quite cool. Wouldn't stitch it, but it's fun. I can't. Flick, flick, flick. Not sure who'd want to stitch Nigella Lawson. Like a cookie. Got some of her cookbooks. Not sure about it. So 50 to stitch garden. They'll be really good for ATCs. Because they get a little gnome, and I like gnomes. Right. Okay, so there's the phoenix. That's gorgeous, actually. I really like that. And by Fiona Baker. Because something that looks like it's, it's not actually got that much backstitch in it. I thought it was going to have an absolute ton, but it doesn't. Um, Emma Con Mexican letters by Emma Congdon. And there's numbers too. They're quite Go. They'd be quite cool for an ATC. I've done that last month for my alphabet one. Um, baby milestones. Won't be stitching that for my friend. Teacup uh, pin cushion and teapot pin cushions. Circus cards. I made it in the magazine. They're going to send me a prize, apparently. 
who am I to complain? It was one of their Facebook comments, you know, comment to win, and they liked my comment, so which I will read out. So the question was, have you ever stitched a project in secret? If so, how? My answer, I can stitch my husband while he's in the, in the room and he doesn't notice. It's true, I've stitched in numerous things and he's not noticed. Partly because he only takes notice when I say, look what I've done. Um, lot is a whole different ball game. So second part, for my daughter though, I have to wait until she's in bed and hide it away from my stitchy stuff as she loves to, loves to look at my projects. And she does, She open, I, I have a big, I have a footstool, an ottoman type foot, footstool where all my stitching stuff lives. Well, the whips and things. And she's in there often looking and having a ferret. So yeah, I'd have to hide it away from her. I want to stitch on one of the unicorn cards that was in box or crazy or even cross stitch a few months back, a couple of months back. But she'll find it. Yep, time and then. Apparently they're going to send me a prize. They don't say what, but it doesn't say in the magazine either. Uh, quick stitches, sort of mail. Celebrate a friend's favourite pastimes. Guitar, motorbikes, beer, fishing, gardening, biking and golf. Oh, and football. Apparently that's what men like. Uh, piggy cards. Various reader requests. Singing dragon. Um, pinwheels done with perforated paper. If only I'd been in the state, could have got some of that Hobby Lobby stuff on offer. Wouldn't that have been good? Um, it shows you how to make them. And I think that's pretty much it. Next month. There's another ch uh, a chart book and thread, metallic threads. Uh, good luck, fortune cards, feathers, seaside -y stuff. Always appeals to me. Oh, pretty houses. And a yin and yang. Actually, it's pretty cool. I quite like that. Um, that be a lot. So that's cross-stitch uh, cross crazy this month. Where are we at? Me thinking this is going to be quick. No. Right. I'm going to... I'm checking my list because... Because... Right. Next thing's up. Oh, push my chair up. I meant to show you this last time and I didn't. I've had my quilt back out. So you may have seen some, there's a real EP um, P thing going around at the moment. A lot of YouTube, but a lot of Facebook people are doing uh, YouTubers and stitches of EPP. I've been doing this for about five years. They are two inch hexes. I think I've shown it ages ago, but I have put in a, f a few rows since then. I've been, I've got all this to turn into hexes. And I, that was one of my haul things. Doesn't count as a stitch moustache though, because it's hexes. So I've got all the papers, and the seller even sends a ready done hexy. Um, so I can add that into my quilt as well. So I will. So that's another hundred. That's 101 hexes to add in now. So that's a uh, that should keep me going. Oh, frosty you bitchy nose. Right, giveaways. Okie dokie. Mamiji dolls. Um, four people entered. Link, this is on, uh, Link is my homeboy winner. Uh, winner? One? So, uh, Heather, it's on its way to you. I've got your address. The summer borders, um, of which, yeah, for these. Uh, Vicky Hobbs. You're the winner. Can you um, get your address to me? I'll comment on your comment. Uh, shouldn't have put the laptop away, should I? Instagram is prob. If you're on Instagram, it's probably the best way. If not, um, I will put my email down anyway. Um, and Cat Crazy Creations, get the chart book. You're doing well, Sonia. I'll get that in the post to you because I've got your address. I only posted you something last week. Um, 
people who are waiting for stuff, everything has been posted. I promise everything has been posted. Now I was really slack and didn't and had two or three giveaway worth of stuff, but it's all gone. And um, I've discovered that I can use standard first and second class stamps from the UK as long as the value is the same. British posters don't worry about it, um, which is good because I've always got UK stamps kicking about. Uh, I've always got first and second class stamps so I can just make up the postage and that they all go. It makes it a lot easier now because I don't have to make trips to the post office. Right, new charts. Three again because they're quite big ones. So we have got um, this one here, and I didn't even look at it. Oh, diary of the country diary of an Edwardian lady. So that's quite pretty. Um, this is actually uh, 121 high by 9, 119 wide. Um, it's got a full anchor. It's full DMC uh, list. Uh, what else? Anything, yeah, some half stitch and stuff in there. Uh, yeah, cross stitch, half stitch, fractionals, back stitch, and French knots. So, yeah, so that one. So, well, let's call this country diary chart. Country diary. We have got 18 pretty floral charts in a circular thing. Um, let me see if I can find. So there are wreaths, flower heads, and stained glass. So wreaths by Deborah Page, flower heads by Leslie Tear, and stained glass by Maria Diaz. That's just some of them there. I'm just trying to look in. Yeah, it's the same ones I used on this. I, there's no other pictures of the finished ones, so. So, floral charts, and let's go, there we go, summer stitches, this is Lucy Heaton charts, um, there's what we've got in here, flowers, fairies, I want to get Little cute creature, little mon a monkey, and a um, mouse playing tennis, uh, ice cream sundaes, and things, cupcakes, sweet treats, and some flowers. So, actually, this is really nice. Probably, I'm glad I've checked now that I'm, I've already said I'm giving it away because I probably would have kept this one. Yep, yeah, so just summer stitches. So, we've got summer stitches floral charts and country diary so just enter below for any of those I've got itchy frosty face now um, and I think that's pretty much it it's been a bit all over the place um, but when it, when aren't my videos a little bit all over the place I hope you're all really well um, oh giveaway rules I suppose better go through those be over 18 be a subscriber don't mention the word giveaway or I will delete a comment. Um, I've only ever had to do that once, I think. So, um, feel free to shout them out on your floss tube if you want to just say, if you want free stuff, go over to Kerry and Stitches, I don't mind. Oh, the tiaras have reached their destinations, so you might see those in upcoming floss tube videos from Michelle and Dawn. Who have I been watching? I have been watching The Stitching Quilter, who, uh, a lady in Australia, fully embracing mania, and she stitches some, she some fantastic kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Variety, that's the one, a variety of projects, so she's, um, she's got some really, really lovely stuff, and um, she's been vlogging every day for um, Stitch Mania. She only got three video, three proper videos out, and then the three, and then just a week's worth of sort of five minute videos. And I've also I finally caught, I finally started watching Tash the Star Crossed Stitcher. I'm sorry, Tash, you've been watching my channel for a while, and I've only just realised that you have one too. So 
Um, I've been watching two or three, another Australian stitcher who is doing mania. So, um, you've got some incredible projects. So, um, just the two I've been watching. I was super, 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 super behind with Floss Tube, and I'm getting caught up. I'm, I'm nearly there. I, I, so, I apologize. If I normally watch a channel and I haven't commented, I'm sorry. I have been watching, I've just been frantically trying to catch up and everything's just been on the like autoplay thing and I've just let it run through. So I apologise for not commenting. Um, now I'm caught up, well now I'm almost caught up, I will certainly be commenting again um, because I love receiving comments on my channel so it's only fair that I comment um, back so you'll feel the love too. So thank you to all my subscribers, likers commenters um it's, it's lovely to read and see all these uh comments and all these nice things about um what you like about my stitching and things like that i my train of thought just completely went again but when doesn't it um it's my me essentially um what if i go a bit kind of tongue-tied or can't think i have something called dysphasia um which essentially is you can't find your words um, usually I will go around the houses trying to find the right word um, but sometimes I just can't think I get a block and I cannot think of the word so um, it has no rhyme or reason to whether it's like, whether I'm really tired or anything although it is generally worse when I'm tired but it's some days I'm absolutely fine other days I'm lucky if I can remember what my, my children's names are Although I did forget what my husband's name was the other day, I could not remember. But I, I knew what it was, but I just could not get it to come out and managed to list all my male colleagues. I may have told you this video, this story in my last video. Um, but yeah, I worked with four men um, and was trying to... My, the company my husband worked for had done some work on a, one of our projects and... Um, I was trying, we were talking about this particular one and I was saying, oh yes, it's the one that, um, uh, and I, not Steve, not Pete, what's his face? My husband went on and my co other colleague was just sat there laughing at me because I could not remember what my husband's name was. He, he thought it was, he's fine. I know his name, he's, he's Andy. And he's going to be editing this and seeing this, especially as this bit's right at the end, because he normally watches the first two minutes of my videos and the last two minutes of my videos, because I find it embarrassing that my, my, my people I know watch. Um, so, anyway, this is going to be really quite a long video for not a lot of stuff. So I have a great fortnight, um, and I will see you back at the end of the month when we're all exhausted from mania. Have a great stitchy fortnight, friends. Bye-bye.